Ah, ya son las nueve. Sí. Hello, hello. Ajá. Checking on the time. Mm. Hello, hello. Good evening, Good evening everyone. Good evening. How, are, how are you doing? How are you? I'm fine. Fine? Excellent. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome to the video conference. I appreciate your punctuality to be here. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, welcome everyone. We're going to get started with some really useful information. And as you know, we always start with the attendance. So when you listen to your name, please remember to say present to make an oral or a verbal confirmation that you are part of the video conference, please. Let me check on this. Let's see. Okay, let's begin with the information. Uh, Alejandra Gabriela Perez. Present. Guadalupe Fuentes. Present. Thank you. Azucena Enriquez de López. Present. Thank you. Brian Joel Morrodas. Brian Joalmo. All right, probably not present. I continue. Carolina Abigail Vasquez. Present. Thank you. Cindy Tatiana Vasquez. Cindy Tatiana Vasquez. Thank you. Thank you. Cira Bepalia Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Claudia Elizabeth Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Erika Vanessa Marroquín. Present. Thank you. Esmeralda Janet Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Evelyn Abigail Ramos. Present. Fátima del Carmen Tagueta. Present. Thank you so much. Giselle Marie Hernández. Present. Thank you. Indira Nirvana Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ana Ivania Guevara. <laughs> Ana Ivania Guevara. Thank you. Jose Hernán Maravilla. Okay, continue. Josué Abraham López Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Carla Guadalupe Pacheco. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Carla Lizette Mendez. Thank you so much. Luis Daniel Rosa. Present teacher. Thank you. Madeline Beatriz Morán. Present. Thank you. María José Sandoval. María José Sandoval. At this moment. Mariana Dolores Moreno. Present. Thank you. Marlon Napoleón Fuentes. Present. Thank you. Rina Estela García de Acosta. Present. Thank you. Rolando Guzmán Revelo. Present. Thank you. Ruth Stephanie Meléndez. Present. Thank you, Sandra Marisol Campos Chavez. Present. 
present. Thank you. Present. Tito Alberto Hernández. Tito Alberto Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you so much. And Xiomara Alejandra Marroquín Lara. Present. Thank you. I appreciate your confirmation. Thank you so much. All right, people, welcome for today's video conference. As I told you, I really appreciate your presence here. We are going to have some practice today, so we continue learning with some useful information. At this moment, I just want to switch a little bit to Spanish just to give you some information. And for that one, as I mentioned, I will switch to Spanish. Eh, nada más recordarles la información que creo que ya se les ha hecho llegar a ustedes eh, en el, eh, personalmente eh, con, el, con la entrega del comprobante de el material que se está utilizando. Eso se los, se los mandaron a ustedes, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Personalmente, para que usted hiciera el proceso. Entonces, pedirle su colaboración. Si usted todavía no lo ha encontrado, no lo ha entregado, perdón, le pido por favor eh, hacerlo. Recuérdese que es de carácter obligatorio que todos mandemos esa información. Así que, por favor, les pido que estemos atentos para que mandemos la información. ¿Ok? Si usted ya lo hizo, bien, perfecto. Si, si usted no lo ha hecho, le pido de favor que lo haga lo más pronto posible. No me deje pasar el tiempo porque es uno de los requisitos del curso. Así que, por favor, eh, ahí cada quien sabe si ya lo mandó o no lo ha mandado. Pero su colaboración con ese punto. Uh, and the other... El siguiente, nada más pedirle su colaboración con el, el completar la plataforma, ¿verdad? Algunos ya están trabajando y eso es muy bueno. Algunos todavía no, vamos, nos hace falta completar información. Así que pedirle su colaboración para que podamos ir al mismo ritmo. O si usted puede adelantarse en la plataforma, perfecto. Recuérdese que la plataforma le deja hacer múltiples intentos y no habría ningún problema con que usted termine la plataforma antes de nuestras sesiones. Eso podría ser lo ideal, así vamos repasando y después usted puede volver a hacer los ejercicios y obtener el puntaje. Tiene para sacarse 100 en todo, ¿verdad? Puntaje perfecto. All right. That was just the information. The information for that for today, those were the announcements. Let me check on my presentation so we can begin checking on info. All right, as I told you, today is session number four and we are going to check on yes and no and where questions with the verb to be, okay? We practice yes, no questions and also we practice on where questions with the verb to be. Check on this one. Take a look at the, the information I have. We continue practicing on some information. Uh, Mr. Tito, I don't know if there is a question. Uh, sí, teacher. Eh, me gustaría saber cómo puedo hacer la grabación de esta transmisión. Estoy tratando de hacerla, pero me da como una dificultad. Posiblemente tenía que autorizar. Eh, <laughs> y no sé si será posible obtener eh, las grabaciones que tal vez usted está tomando. Creo que la graba, ¿verdad? Sí, es correcto. Para ese comentario... Eh... Le comento que las grabaciones, como usted lo menciona, son, están siendo grabadas posteriormente a la clase. Yo subo la, la clase a YouTube, así que eh, por eso les pido su colaboración también con el micrófono e igualmente con lo que usted haciendo, está haciendo en cámara. No se, me, no se le voy a olvidar que está siendo grabado y de repente eso va a salir en YouTube y nos vamos a hacer famosos, ¿verdad? Así que pedirle su colaboración y prudencia ante la cámara. Especialmente prudencia, por favor, okay, es parte okay. del de el, el ambiente y la atmósfera que estamos creando de clases. Igual, aparte de eso, Mr. Tito, en la plataforma tenemos una, una pestañita específica donde están las videoconferencias. 
Luego que la, la videoconferencia ha sido subida a YouTube, usted la puede encontrar en la plataforma. Ahí va a ver todas las grabaciones que nosotros hacemos. Así que no sería tan necesario que usted la grabe porque esa información va a quedar almacenada para que nosotros la utilicemos posteriormente. En el enlace, en el correo informativo, creo que les comparten eh, esa información. Pero si no, si gusta, yo le puedo asistir si mostrándole dónde puede encontrar la información en la plataforma. Pero posteriormente. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. Let's continue checking on this. We continue practicing, and at this moment, we're going to check on the name of the objects. Tell me, take a look at the first object we have here. And I ask you the question, what's that? What's that? It is a cell phone. A cell phone. All right. Okay, perfect. In this case, you are correct, but we are also checking. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Thank you for the help. In this one, we are checking also on the information for a phone case. They are talking about something to protect the cell phone, a phone case. Check on the next one. What's that? Phone case. Identification. All right. And how do you say that in English? It's an identification card. Identification card. Identification card. Thank you. That's correct. In this case, you can mention the complete name, identification card, or you can also say, in this case, to be a specific student, but the short form could be ID. That is the short form. Identification, complete form, ID, the short form. In this one, because it is, it is specific for the school, student ID. Check on the next object. What's that? It's a clip. 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 Thank you. Thank you. That's correct. It's a clip. Paper clip. If you want to be more specific, that's correct. We say paper clip. Thank you. Thank you so much. What about on the next one? What's that? It's a newspaper. 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 News. Thank you. Newspaper. Paper. Newspaper. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. That's a, news, a newspaper. Take a look at the next object. What's that? It's a bag. It's a bag. It's a bag. Ah, thank you. Thank you. To be more specific, you say a purse. Purse. Right? Purse. 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 Thank you. Check, check on the next one. What's that? It's a, tablet. It's, a tablet. It's, a tablet. it's a tablet. Perfect, perfect. It's a tablet. The next object, what is that? It's a TV. It's a TV. It's a TV. You, you can have the two forms. You can mention it's the complete name. Thank you, thank you. A television complete form. Or you can mention the short form. TV. No problem. No problem. What about the next one? What's that? It's a ticket. It's a ticket. It's a ticket. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Check on the last one. What's that? It's a box. Thank you. Thank you. It's a carton box. Carbon carton box. Thank you. Thank you so much. Perfect. 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 Let's check on this one. Now, after checking the name of the objects, we're going to have a short spelling practice. When you need somebody to spell something, this is the model question. How do you spell? For example, I can ask you, how do you spell your name? And you begin saying the letters of your name. Or also, you can say the name in the empty space. For example, I tell you, how do you spell box? And the answer, it is B-O-X. Thank you. X. 
Excellent. That is the model question to ask someone to spell something. Uh, I will ask on some people to participate on this practice. Let me see on the list that we have at this moment, the list of participants, and I can choose a person randomly. I will choose on, let's see, Xiomara Alejandra Marroquín. Xiomara Alejandra Marroquín. Yes. All right, thank you. I have a question for you, tell me. How do you spell ticket? It is... T I C K E T. Thank you. Thank you. T I C, right? Thank you so much. T I C K E T. Thank you. Brian Joalmo, I ask you a question. Mr. Brian, how do you spell tablet? It is T I B L E T. All right, thank you so much. Just double check on this spelling. T A. Right? T A. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And the rest. A. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much. That's okay. I will ask on the next person to participate at this moment. And for that one, I need Luis Daniel Rosa. Mr. Luis Daniel, tell me, how do you yeah. spell, how do you spell purse? It is P-U-R-S-E. Thank you, perfect, good job. Thank you, excellent, excellent. Thanks. I continue and I choose other person for this practice. Giselle Marie Hernandez, I need your help. Tell me. How do you spell newspaper? N-E-W-S-P-I-P-E-R. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Just double check on the on the vowel A. It should be N E W S P A P A, right? Just double check on that one. Thank you. But the rest was okay. A. Thank you. And I ask on Azucena Enriquez. Miss Azucena, tell me, how do you spell only one word? Student. How do you spell student? S-T-U-D-E-N-T-I-D. Um, -E -E Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Nice. Thank you. Ana Guadalupe Fuentes, I need your help. How do you spell television? T E L E B I is I O M. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Nice. Just check on the pronunciation of the of the consonant S, right? S S. S. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Congratulations yes. to the people who participated. Thank you. We're going to have more practice later on, so don't worry. Thank you. This was just for the starting practice. At this one, for for section number two, we have some information about prepositions of place. The prepositions of place are useful to express the position of something, right? We mention an object and we mention a point of reference and we can talk about the location about different objects. I hope you remember with some of them. And if not, today we're going to practice and we are going to learn. So. We have, we have some information. Let me see. Um, let me get started. At this moment, we have the first picture, right? That is the picture that is here. And we are going to, to ask the question, where is the cell phone? That is the specific question. Where is the cell phone? As you can see, the cell phone is in different locations in all the pictures. What is the other element that we have? We have a box, all right? That is the box and the cell phone. We have one object, two objects, and one is the reference for the other. Check on the first picture and tell me where is the cell phone? 
What is the correct preposition for that? In the box. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The cell phone in this case, because you see the box, we can use the preposition in, right? Preposition in. This is the illustration for that one. So we, we can get an idea. And as you mentioned, the complete expression is the cell phone is in the box. I remember the use of the verb to be because we're talking about one object. For that reason, we say is. Not possible to say the cell phone are, not possible. Because the cell phone is singular, verb to be singular, one, one. Okay, take a look at the next illustration. What preposition can we use? Only the preposition for the next picture. In front. In front. In front. Of in front. In front. In front. In front. In front. In front. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Check on this preposition that we have three elements in the preposition. In front of. Three elements, right? Three elements to mention the position of the place. In front of. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you want to form the complete answer, in this case, we can say the cell phone is in front of the box. That should be the complete sentence when we report the location of the base. Take a look at the next one. Oops, sorry. Sorry, sorry, never mind. What it's is fine. the, oh my goodness, my goodness, my bad, right? Thank you. You are fast, fast eyes. Damn. You're quick. Excellent, thank you. Okay. Ya vi que tienen ojo rápido. Ya vi que si de repente, digo atrás mío, rapidito. Thank you, but that's fine. Thank you, excellent, thank you. The preposition, as you mentioned in this case, is behind, right? Thank you. Time. The complete sentence? What should be the complete sentence? The cell phone the cell is behind, behind the box. The box. The box. The box. behind the box. Excellent. Thank behind you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Remember, in this case, we mentioned the object of interest, the verb to be, On. the preposition, On. And finally, we express a point of reference. Because if I tell you, imagine the sentence, the cell phone is behind, but behind what? We need a point behind. of reference, right? In this behind. case, in behind. this case, because, thank you, thank you. In box. this case, because we have the information, we have the picture, right? En este caso, porque tenemos la imagen y todos la estamos viendo, si yo le preguntara, where is the cell phone? ¿verdad? Usted me pudiera responder, the cell phone is behind, right? Porque los dos estamos viendo los objetos de referencia. Pero lo ideal siempre es mencionar el objeto, ¿verdad? No olvidamos el verbo to be, es muy importante. Lo mencionamos y también ocupamos la preposición. Y generalmente o casi siempre vamos a utilizar eh, un punto de referencia. ¿verdad? Es como que le dijera, el teléfono está atrás. ¿Pero y atrás de qué? Ah, exacto. ¿Atrás de qué? Right? We need always, we need a reference when we talk about prepositions of place. Thank you. Excellent. Let's continue. Take a look at the next picture. What preposition can we use? On the box. On the box. On the box. On the box. the box. the box. Thank you. That is correct. Thank you so much for for your help. The cell phone is on the box, right? And we continue with the same model, right? Object, verb to be, preposition, other object as a reference. Thank you. Let's continue on the next one. What preposition can we use in that picture? Next to. Next, next, next to. Beside. 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 Beside.
Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. In this case, okay. for the information that we have, we are using next to. But I listen to other option when you say site. Site is a synonym, something similar. So you can say site or next to. The two could be acceptable when you talk about the location beside or next to. ¿no? En este caso, creo que la información que tenemos en plataforma, estábamos utilizando el next to, ¿verdad? Y es aceptable. Por ahí escuché otra opción que me decían beside. Y eso también es posible. Tiene, es un sinónimo, quiere decir que comparten el mismo significado y la idea sería la misma que estamos expresando. The cell phone is next to the box. The cell phone is beside the box. Right? Solo chequear ahí un punto muy importante que una frase es next to y la otra es beside. No le incluimos beside to the box. Eso sería erróneo utilizarlo. Y con preposiciones, le voy a hacer el comercial, con preposiciones ocurre algo tal vez con nuestro idioma. ¿verdad? Nosotros a veces ponemos un artículo o a veces decimos atrás de, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Usted dice el teléfono está atrás de la caja y cuando estamos aprendiendo un idioma a veces queremos buscar un equivalente para cada palabra en nuestra idea y tal vez nosotros dijéramos erróneamente the cell phone is, beside, is behind to the box. Le incluimos una nueva palabra porque en español nosotros podríamos decir atrás de, ¿verdad? Pero acá, por ejemplo, en la expresión behind, esa es la idea completa para decir atrás de. Cabala, dos palabras en español, en inglés se resumen en una y no le agregamos nada. Entonces, con las preposiciones, tal cual como las tenemos, no le agregamos nada más. Que a veces, a veces nosotros agregamos elementos en español y los traducimos y los agregamos. En ese caso, prestarle atención, ¿verdad? No agregamos nada más de lo que vemos aquí en pantalla. ¿Ok? Check on the next one. And we have the, the last illustration at this moment. Oh, What under, preposition? Under the box. Under, 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 under the box. The Next cell phone under is the box. Phone under, under the box. The phone is under the box. Under the box. Thank you so much. We can say the cell phone is under the box. Indeed, something similar when, uh, with the example that I was mentioning. Eso casi es como el, el, el ejemplo que yo les mencionaba. Tal vez en español nosotros pudi pudiéramos decir el teléfono está abajo de la caja. ¿verdad? Le agregamos un de en español. Tal vez nuestras frases o la expresión tal cual en español es de esa forma. Pero en inglés no me le vaya a buscar un elemento o un equivalente a ese de cuando se exprese su idea en español. Debe tener en mente que la expresión under es suficiente para hablar de la ubicación. Como ustedes lo mencionaron, the cell phone is under the box. ¿Verdad? El da si es el artículo, la caja. ¿Verdad? Pero no el de, tal cual que tenemos en español, no se utiliza, no tiene un equivalente en inglés y no lo utilizamos. The cell phone is under the box. And that should be the information. Now, let's do a practice. We continue practicing on this information. And for that one, I am going to ask more people in the video conference. I am going to ask you the same information, right? And I want you, I am going to select one person. And I need the complete sentence with all the elements, please, at this moment. And to start, I am going to ask on Mariana Dolores Moreno. Hello, Mariana. Hello. Thank you. We begin with the first picture. Vamos a hacer el ejercicio tal cual que hicimos como clase. Ahora lo voy a individualizar. Vamos a ir en el mismo orden que íbamos descubriendo las preposiciones, pero necesito que me dé la, la respuesta completa, no solo la preposición. Take a look at the first one. And the question, tell me, where is the cell phone? Uh, the cell phone is in the box. 
Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Perfect. I choose other person at this moment. I ask on Claudia Elizabeth Martinez. The next question, miss. Tell me, where is the cell phone? The cell phone in front of the box. Thank you. Don't forget on the verb to be, the cell phone is in front of the box. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm, do I'm just double checking on the correct structure. Thank you. I continue and I ask at this moment Esmeralda Janet de Miranda. Take a look at the next picture and tell me where is the cell phone? The cell phone is on the box. In, in this one? No, in this one in the corner. La primerita de las que tenemos acá abajo a la izquierda. Where is the cell phone? Behind. Behind. Uh, the cell phone is... Behind? Mm -hmm. No problem. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The cell phone is behind in the box. Ah, check on this one. Behind is the only expression. Ahí no agregamos otra preposición aparte de behind, porque me creí escuchar behind in the box, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí solo utilizamos behind. The cell phone is behind the box. Okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. Double checking on that one. I ask at this moment to Marlon Napoleon Fuentes. The cell phone on the box. The cell phone, what, remember to include the verb to be. Nos hizo falta el verbo to be en la respuesta. Le voy a volver a preguntar. Where is the cell phone? The cell phone is, is on, on the box. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Remember on the, on the important elements. We need, we mentioned the object, the verb to be, preposition, and the other object of reference. Thank you, you're doing fine. I ask on Carla Lisette Mendez at this moment. And take a look at the next picture. Carla, where is the cell phone? The cell phone is next to the box. Perfect, perfect. The cell phone is next to the box. The box. Thank you, that's nice. And to finish on this practice, I am going to ask on Miss Cira Aguilar. Check on this one, Miss. Tell me, where is the cell phone? The cell phone is under the box. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Good job for all of you who participated. Remember the important elements? We, if we remember the elements, we're fine. Muy bien hecho para las personas que participaron y los demás, aunque no tuvieron la chance de participar, espero que mentalmente hayan ido haciendo el ejercicio ¿verdad? y recibiendo la retroalimentación que yo les decía a sus compañeros. Así, si su idea era igual a la de su compañero, yo le decía, hey, excelente, era el excelente, era para todos, ¿verdad? Si no, recibíamos retroalimentación. Before we move on to the next practice, is there any question? Questions, questions about prepositions? No, no question. No question. No, question. no question. No question. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yo tengo una pregunta, teacher. Tell me, tell me. Yo he escuchado también que dice behind, pero no sé si. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. In this case, some words, not everything, but some words have two acceptable pronunciations. In this case, this could be uh, an exception, sometimes because of the British accent. In este caso, eh, tenemos, puede, puede, algunas palabras tienen tal vez dos pronunciaciones aceptables o también nos encontramos con dos pronunciaciones, eh, con una pequeña variante por la influencia o, o por tal vez por el hecho de pronunciación americana, la de Estados Unidos, lo que nosotros conocemos, y el inglés británico. Entonces, tal vez si escuchamos que alguien nos dice behind, es muy probable y es aceptable, pero tal vez se está enfocando con la pronunciación británica. 
eh, a ellos eso, eh, a, belle, a veces, perdón, a veces ellos hacen cierto énfasis en algunas letras y ciertas variantes en pronunciación. La en inglés, en ese caso, la pronunciación más común, behind. That should be the word. Mm -hmm. Was it clear? No sé si eso solventa su duda. Yes. yes, teacher. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's check on this one. If there are no more questions, we are going to start working on the practice because remember the intention of this session is to have practice not for you to listen to me ¿verdad? el objetivo de nuestras reuniones es clarificar dudas chequear cierta información pero lo más importante es que usted ponga el idioma en práctica ¿verdad? no es que solo me va, se va a conectar una hora a escucharme a mí así que chiste no, at this moment, we are going to have some practice. And take a look at this one. Take a look at my example in this one. We're going to have a speaking practice. And as you can see at this moment, we have a picture with a lot of elements. Take a look at the picture at this moment, and then I will ask you, about the different objects that you see. Take a look at the object. Take a look at the picture at this moment, please. Check on everything, check on the information. Mm -hmm. And let me see. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah, you see. <laughs> let me see. All right. Tell me, I am going to ask people to identify of the, on the objects. And for this one, I need Miss Esmeralda Janet. Esmeralda Janet, tell me one object that you see in the picture. En este momento, no necesito que me dé la referencia del lugar ni utilizando una oración completa. Vamos a trabajar vocabulario en este momento. ¿Qué objeto logra visualizar usted en la imagen? Just one. Just tell me one that you see. Um, umbrella. Umbrella. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, a TV. Mm -hmm. A TV. Thank you. Thank you so much. Just one. Just one. At this moment, that's fine. Brian okay. Joalmo, tell me what is other object that you see in the pictures? A pencil. A pencil. Thank you. Thank you so much. Rina Estela. Other object that you see, please. Two clocks. Two clocks. All right. Thank you so much. Two clocks. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, other people. Anna Ivania, tell me all their object that you see in the picture. Uh, the hybrid. Thank you. Help me with the microphone, people, please. You see a hairbrush. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Perfect. At this moment, we are going to work on the practice. I sent you the picture to the chat, right? I guess you received the information. At this moment, we are going to be, uh, be using this picture to ask on some question. And what are the model questions? The questions are these. We are going to ask this question if the object is singular. That means if you see the picture and there is only one element, this is the model question. Identificamos en la foto y si queremos preguntar la ubicación de un objeto, pero solo hay uno en la imagen, utilizamos este modelo de pregunta. Where is the... Y ahí el complemento. Ya le voy a explicar cómo lo completamos para que tenga una referencia. If you are going to ask for something in the plural form, this is the question. Check that the only difference is the verb to be. Verb to be are is for plural. Si veo que hay dos objetos de la misma clase, preguntamos are. ¿verdad? Si solo existe un objeto, usted pregunta is. Okay. And how do you complete this info? This information is like this. Take a look at the model. Remember, we are going to select an object. That is just the, the initial, 
Yo solo le puse la inicial ahí para que tengamos la referencia. La O quiere decir un objeto. Es el que vamos a seleccionar para averiguar su ubicación. Where is, for example, I have a lamp. Por ahí tengo una lamparita, ¿verdad? En azul, blue and green. Imagínense que yo pregunto, where is the lamp? The answer, similar to the previous practice, similar a la práctica anterior, los mismos elementos que tenemos que utilizar en el orden mencionado. Así, Juan, you say the lamp, vamos a completar con un objeto, el que se me preguntó, the lamp is, remember, important, thank you, thank you, on the table. Las letras que le estoy poniendo eh, son nada más la referencia que usted sepa dónde iría la preposición que está representada por la letra P. Right? Similar to the previous exercise. Es solo nada más una guía, ¿verdad? Recuérdese que en la respuesta moradita, la primera O significa el objeto por el cual se me preguntó. The verb to be, preposition, and the other object is the reference. Y la última O. Hace referencia al otro objeto que nos va a servir de referencia para dar la ubicación del objeto que me preguntó. Similar to, the, similar to the question in plural. The question in plural, for example, where are, you say, you follow on the same model. Remember, glasses are considered plural, right? Yesterday we were talking about that. And when we talk about glasses, they are plural. The question, where are the glasses and what is the answer people the glasses the glasses are exactly thank you so much perfect the the cell phone right or yeah sorry the glasses the glasses are on the table. So this is just an illustration for you to know how to answer, right? The order of the words. Don't forget about the verb to be. No se le olvide mencionar el verbo to be porque a veces suele, se nos suele olvidar y eso es muy común. Pero ya viendo el modelo de la respuesta y la pregunta, no olvidemos ninguno de sus elementos. Questions before we start on this practice? Questions, questions. We're going to work in no breakup questions. rooms. Thank you. No thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, people, at this moment, we are going to start on the breakup rooms and you are going to be asking information of location to your classmates. Solo una consulta antes de iniciar, una pregunta. ¿Recibieron la imagen por, por vía del chat de la videoconferencia? Sí. Yes, All right. Teacher. Thank you. Thank you so much. If not, you can take a screenshot. Si usted es en su teléfono o tal vez si está en su computadora, puede tomar una captura de pantalla y eso nos puede servir de referencia, ¿verdad? Porque la imagen nos va a servir a las dos personas que trabajamos that we work in this activity. At this moment, let's get started and remember I check on you, right? I check on you. Recuérdese que de repente entro a la sala y espero escucharles practicando la información de esta actividad. Ok. Thank you. Let's get started. Hello, hello, thank you, thank you so much. Erika, hello, hello, Erika. Thank you.
Hello, hello, Ruth. Hello, hello. Es que solo estaba yo. Por eso oh, me oh, really? Okay, let me check on this one. All right, I am going to move you to a group where you can practice with people. Give me a second on this one. <laughs> Gracias. Mm -hmm. when, when, you, when something like this happens, notify me, please. Si gusta, si alguna vez llego con lo mismo, eh, escriba en, por ahí un mensaje en la plataforma y así yo rápidamente le puedo asignar y así aprovechamos el tiempo, ¿verdad? Thank you. Hello. All right. Let's get, join to the other class. Thank you so much. Uh, where is for where are y there y the por el objeto y is o are or are. Se me olvidó, bueno, no se me olvidó, sino que no alcancé a copiar con pero creo que aquí estaba la compartir el dicho. Uh, ok, no problem. Ok. Hello, hello. Don't worry. Hey, hey, hello. Hi. Hello, teacher. I, I am going to share the screenshot, right? Are okay. you able to see it? No sé si logran ver okay. ahorita en pantalla. Yes. Ok, yes. perfect. You can take a screenshot at this moment. Puede tomar una captura y así pueden trabajar to ask on the questions, right? Thank you. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Now, I want to listen to you at this moment. Tell me. Quiero escucharles practicar y así puedo monitorearles y ayudarles si es necesario. Okay. Yes, yes. Ahorita. Okay. Okay. Um, what is the, what is the television? Um, sorry, sorry, que de la imagen a mí no se me, no, no se me pega, no sé por qué. Sí. Um, no, problem. no, 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 that's okay. Thank you so much, Josué, thank you so much. Thank okay. you, thank you for your help. Creo que Josué está compartiendo por ahí, no sé si lo alcanza a ver, Miss. Yes, yes. Thank okay. you, Josué. Okay. okay. What is that television? Uh, the television is on the desk. Yes. Okay. Uh, where is the hairbrush? Ah, the hairbrush. Mm -hmm. The hairbrush is on the table. On the table, thank you. Thank you so much. On the table, thank you. Good job, okay. continue practicing. Thank you where, so much. Thank you. And the, to... the table, uh, the picture, it's the it's in front of the TV. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, where are the no where is the cup cup the cup is on the table is possible the cup is in front of the pencil in yes. front of the porch Thank you. Good job, ladies. Good job. Continue asking. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Garbage. Garbage. Uh, garbage. Teacher, teacher. Garbage. Una pregunta. Garbage. Tell me. Tell me. Eh, basurero. Basur. ¿Cómo lo decimos? Basurero. Garbage. In this case, in this case, garbage is what you put inside. Si decimos garbage, ah, es lo que ponemos dentro. Sería sí. basura, ¿verdad? Es la basura. In this case, uh -huh. you can mention ah. trash can. That is the most common. Trash, trash. can. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Trash can. Sería okay. basurero. Trash? No, trash. T. Trash can. T-R-A-S-A. T. T as tomato. T as tomato. R. 
E R A A S A. A. Mm -hmm. And the second word C A N. Two words. Hay dos palabras acá para decir basurero. T R A S H. Trash. And the other word. C A N. Can. Trash can. Can. Uh -huh. Trash cam. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. 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 ok. Bueno, estábamos con, con esa ahorita de, de dónde estaba la, la sombría. All right. Thank you. Así Thank que, you. Bueno, Ask the question. Eh, Ask the question. Es, formule la pregunta, les escucho y no sé quién iba a responder y así les escucho también cómo respondemos. Thank you. Eh, Rolando me iba a preguntar. Excelente. Mm -hmm. Vaya, seguimos. Um, sí. Sería, perdóname, que tengo la pregunta. Uh, where is the television? Uh -huh. Television. Where is the television? The, the, uh, the television. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The television huh? is is uh is is on a table. Be on a table? No, no. Bueno, no es, no es mesa, sino que es como on the un, table. No sé cómo lo tendría It'll que be decir. Be a table. Podríamos mencionarle table, aunque parece como un mueble con gavetitas. Entonces podríamos decir uh -huh. drawer, drawer. Podríamos decirlo. Let me Draw check. Where? Drawer. Yeah, let me see if I can share Draw. this with you. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me look on the chat. Ah, here it is. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. That should Drawer. be the word. Drawer. Mm -hmm. Drawer. Where okay. is the laptop? Thank you. Laptop, Please, laptop. Where is the laptop? That's a Maria. Yellow, the yellow cup. Yellow cup. The yellow cup. The yellow cup. The There is the yellow cup. There is the yellow cup. Mm -hmm. The yellow cup is on the table. Thank you. That was a correct answer. The cup is on the table. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. Continue working. Thank you so much. Where are the pair of glasses? No, lo que pasa es que eh, prácticamente en, el, en la imagen, bueno, como yo lo estoy viendo del celular, lo puedo agrandar un poquito y medio identifico qué es o qué no es. Ah, por eso. Ah, ah ok. Sí, yo del celular estoy no. recibiendo las clases. No está bien. Ah, ya, ya. Hello, hello. Yo estoy en la... Hi. How are you doing? ¿Cómo yes. vamos? Excelente. Good. Thank you. Fine. Excellent. Ask a question and I listen to you. Practiquemos una pregunta, cualquiera de ustedes pregunte y la otra persona responde y así les doy retroalimentación si, si existe. Thank you. Where okay. is the pillow? Where is the pillow? Where uh -huh. is the pillow? Almohada. Ah. The, the pillow, dijo, no sé cómo se dice. Pillow, uh -huh. pillow. Y, y, is on the chair. The chair. Pero es un libro el que está abajo. Sería, sería en este caso, sí está la ahí, silla, pero la, la silla. silla. Utilizamos la silla más que todo como referencia. Es on the chair. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. 
Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Continue okay. practicing. Thank you. Okay. Gracias. The... Voy a tomar como... Eh, you sería... it under eh, eh, the, the wall. The, uh, so, eh, eh, under es eh, en, sobre, sobre la pared. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver, under. Hello, 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 hello. Can I help you? ¿Les puedo ayudarme? ¿Puedo ayudarme? Ah, uh, no, under, no, no, no. Uh, yes, um, estamos. Uh -huh. um, ahorita, ella me hizo una pregunta bien interesante, tratando de ubicar la, eh, el portarretrato sobre la pared. Entonces, uh -huh. yo me equivoqué porque le puse under, pero under es bajo. Entonces, es sobre tendría que ser on. On. It, should on. Be, it should be on. Yes, that's correct. On en ese caso, el on, on sería the on the wall. Excellent. On the wall. El okay. on, nosotros lo entendemos sobre, ¿verdad? Entonces, tal vez, tal vez el sobre, nosotros decimos como ver, aquí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Una posición uh -huh. en, como encima uh -huh. de. Pero uh -huh. en este caso, para en es, como las, los, las fotos, cuadros, uh -huh. usted que cuelga en la pared, también utilizamos on. Okay. Es posible. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. You. We're going to return to the main room. Vamos a regresar a la sala principal. Thank you so much and good job on the practice. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, hello, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for the time in the practice. I could listen and I could visit some of the rooms and you are doing fine. Thank you so much. I have to congratulate you. Nice job, everyone. Before we leave or, well, is there any question about the practice at this moment? No, teacher. Bueno, a veces cuesta porque no podemos los nombres de, la, de las cosas que hay así, digamos, en, en la imagen. Imagen. Pero yo creo que, yo creo que sí, bueno, con lo que practiqué con la compañera, logramos bastante este, aplicar, ¿verdad? Ajá. The Gracias. principal idea of the structure was okay, right? Tal vez como mencionaba el compañero, hay ciertas palabras específicas que no conocemos, pero por lo menos la estructura general y cómo preguntar y responder Eso quedamos claros. Thank you. Uh, was there any question, Claudia, Elizabeth? ¿Cómo se dice o cómo se menciona piso, suelo, no sé, cuando algo está sobre él? Uh -huh. In this case, you mentioned floor. Floor. F-L-O-O-R. F-L-O-O-R. Floor. Floor. Okay. Uh -huh. Floor. Here. All right. Thank you. Perfect. Mr. Marlon, any question? Teacher, eh, ¿cómo se pronuncia pared? Wall. Wall. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. At this moment, we are going to check on the attendance and we are going to finish on today's class. Just a reminder for the people who are missing to send on the, on the short report that you received the material. Nada más recordarles, igual si usted ya lo hizo, hacer caso omiso, pero si usted está pendiente de mandar el comprobante que ya tiene acceso al material, por favor mandarlo lo más antes posible. Si ya lo tiene y puede mandarlo por, por correo o como se lo hayan pedido, mándelo ahorita, no hay problema. Mis compañeros van a apreciar mucho que ellos ya mañana puedan recibir, tener esa información con ellos. Check on this one. Alejandra Gabriela Pérez. Checking on attendance. Present. Thank you. Present. Ana Guadalupe Fuentes. Present. Thank you. Azucena Enríquez de López. Present. Thank you. Brian Joel Morrodas. Present teacher. Good night. Night. Carolina Abigail Vázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Cindy Tatiana Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Cira Berfalia Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Claudia Elizabeth Martinez.
Cloud. Oi, Sam, Oi, Sam. Oi, Sam. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Erika Vanessa Marroquín. Present. Thank you. Esmeralda Janet Mendez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Evelyn Ramos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Fátima del Carmen Amaya. Present. Thank you. Giselle Maria Hernández. Present. Thank you. Indra Nirvana Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ana Ivania Guevara. Present, teacher. Thank you. Josué Hernán Maravilla. Jose Hernán Maravilla. Right, thank you. Josué Abraham López. Present. Thank you. Carla Guadalupe Pacheco. Present. Carla Lizet Méndez. Thank you. Luis Daniel Rosa. Present teacher. Thank you. Madeline Beatriz Morán. Present. Thank you. Uh, María José Sandoval Gutiérrez. María José Sandoval Gutiérrez. Not at this moment. Mariana Dolores Moreno. Present. Thank you. Marlon Napoleón Fuentes. Present. Thank you. Rina Estela García. Present. Thank you. Rolando Guzmán Revelo. Present. Thank you. Ruth Stephanie Meléndez. No. Present. Thank you. Sandra Marisol Campos. Present. Thank you. Tito Alberto Hernández. Present. Encio Mara Alejandra Marroquín. Present. Thank you so much. All right, people. Thank you so much for your effort and thank you so much for the good practice that we did. Thank you so much for that. Remember tomorrow, no class, right? Tomorrow, no class. We continue Monday, okay? Have a good weekend. Pasen un feliz fin de semana. Un poco largo, ¿verdad? Viernes, sábado, domingo, nos vemos lunes, okay? Thank you so much. Hey, Have thanks. a good weekend. Good I hope to see you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Take care. Bye. Thank Thank you. Bye. 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 Yes, yes. Bye. Yes. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night.